Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll be unboxing Eld4 Chronicles by Free Company. This is a stunning tabletop skirmish game that's influenced and inspired by Japanese art and folklore. I really like this company. They're a small team, independent, coming up with some great products. This has been around for a little while now, but they recently did a Kickstarter for Northern Winds that I covered here on the channel, and they kindly sent me out a box of Eld4 Chronicles, the original tabletop skirmish game, to share with you and have a look at. So really grateful for that. It's a great box. It doesn't look very big here, but once it's unpacked, there's a ton of stuff inside and some beautiful models as well. So in this video, I'll be getting it all out, building the terrain so you can see it, and then I'll show you some close-ups of some of the miniatures, and then I'm gonna do a separate video where I get these built and painted, because they're so good, I wanna spend a bit more time on them. I'll also soon be unboxing this box here, some extra creatures too, so look out for that coming soon. But let's get this open and we'll have a look at everything inside. Their Kickstarter's been doing so well. They've reached over £200,000 so far, which I think is fantastic. A real great success, really happy for them. And I'm not surprised, because looking at this box after I got it all unpacked, I was so impressed. The Northern Winds just looks fantastic too. But here we go, let's get the lid off and we'll have a look at all the contents. First of all, we're greeted with the core rules book, and I'm really liking A5 rule books at the moment. I'm seeing it popping up in lots of games like Moonstone, we've seen it here, and I think it's really nice to have the smaller book, something I'm definitely going to look at for my next one, Population Z. And then we've got a map in there, which I'll be unfolding in a moment. We've got a game mat as well. This is like a thick paper one, like a poster material that you can play on. One big model that we'll look at later. Two packs of dice, these are the D20 dice, and they're going to have the L4 Chronicle logo there as well. Then you've got four packs of miniatures, and each pack will have four miniatures in. So all together, there's going to be 17 models in this box set. If you did watch that Northern Winds video, you'll just know how good these models are. I can't wait to get these built up. But here's the tokens as well, very nice tokens. And then at the bottom, you're going to get all of these card terrain packs, which can be assembled and then you can pack it back up and flat pack it too. So everything is going to go back into the box once you've finished playing, which is brilliant. But here we go. There's all the different cards too. So lots to look at. We'll get started with all these bits first. We'll look at the map, the poster, go through all the tokens and terrain, and then we'll have a close up look at the models too. I love maps, so it's really cool to get one in the game. It really sets the scene, you know exactly where everything's taking place, you get an idea of the world you're in. I think it's fantastic, and this one has been done really nicely. I'll do some close-ups so you can see the details, but really well done. I love the whole style. I mean, the artwork throughout all of the Eld4 Chronicles games is just bang on. They've nailed it. And you don't have to put a map in a game like this, but that attention to detail just really sets you up and immerses you in the game. Then we've got the game mat, so it's not a board, so it's more like a thick poster material that you can unfurl. It's quite big as well, we'll measure it later on so you know exactly how big it is. So it's a nice big square gaming mat, so you're going to get lots of room there for all that terrain. And here you can see it on my 6x4 table, taking up quite a bit of space there, so a really good size. And let's get the ruler out all together. We're looking at 85 centimetres, and that's going to be 85 centimetres squared. So a little bit off three foot by three foot. What I do when I get these kind of pull-out game mats is I put them underneath my thicker mats, and then by the time you put one or two or three on top of it, and you play on it for a couple of weeks or whatever, or even days, then this is going to be nice and smooth and flat. And I'll just leave it under there. I won't fold it up again. So that keeps it nice and neat. Here's the tokens, and then you can see the quality on there is excellent. We've seen these before with Northern Winds, but what I really like about the tokens is they don't just use the image, they actually write down what the token does as well. So once you're used to the game, you're just looking at the image, but at first while you're learning it, having it written down on each token is very helpful. So that's a very good touch. All these little attention to details that they put into the game really shine through. It just shows how passionate they are about what they do, and I love that. It really inspires me to share more of their stuff and I love it, it's great fun. It's also really refreshing after playing the bigger game so much, when you come back to the independent games, you really do feel that passion coming through. But anyway, let's get back to this. This is the terrain. This is one of the pages here, that you, or one of the sheets that you'll take the parts out. Nice thick card, and you'll just slot them in the little grooves. Very easy, very basic, but it looks cool, fills up the table, and you're gonna have a table full of terrain to play on that's themed, 
that looks nice. And I think this is a great idea to get started. I think if you haven't got any terrain or you haven't played any skirmish games before, something like this is brilliant because it's going to get you going. It's going to get something on the table to interact with, use as cover, fight from, climb on, move around, that kind of thing. And then you can grow it from there and you can build some terrain or buy some. But this, to get started with, it's just perfect. So I think this is a really nice addition. And it reminds me a bit of battle systems. I really like their cardboard terrain. But this is designed specifically for this game and the rules as well. So that's really good as well. You're going to get a few sheets, so you're going to get quite a few pieces. And I'll show you it all laid out on the table. We've also got this piece here with some of the gauges, some templates and larger tokens too. But here's all that terrain. I've built it all and i put it all on the map so you can see that it does a good job of filling it up. You've got enough there to interact with for sure. Here's some of the bigger tokens. Again, really nice artwork on all these. I love how they've done these little measuring devices too. Really nice. And especially the blast templates. I think they're really smart. That artwork's stunning. Let's have a look at some of the cards now then. If you saw the Northern Winds, you'd have seen some of these already. This one's really nice. But they did a lot more cards in the Northern Wind box. That's more of an RPG that you can play as a skirmish as well, whereas this is purely skirmish game. Not as many cards in here, but certainly enough to get going. And the artwork, really nice. Quality of the cards is brilliant. Nice thick cards, got this glossy finish. I really like these. And then we've got some of the bigger cards. These are going to be for the enemies. It's got all the information there you need about them on the back. And then if we turn it over, it's going to give you what to do with them, the movement, the action steps. This is like the AI, if you like, for the Colossal, the Earth Elemental, the Golem, the Gargoyle. So there we go. Really cool. You use the tokens until you get the models for some of these bigger ones. And then you've got everything you need just on these cards. So that's really good. It's got the different levels as well on there and then everything on the back again. It's a D20 dice system and you get eight dice all together, four in this style, they look really nice. And then you've got four of the black ones as well. You're gonna get the little logo for L4 Chronicles in place of the number one. So there it is, that looks nice. And then all the numbers are filled in really well. The paint's gone in there. It's not chipped or missing or anything. So the quality on these is really good. As you know, I like my dice. And so it's really nice to see some dice well done. And often box sets can put cheap dice in there, but it's nice to see they, they haven't done that here. Now we've got the core rule book. This is the A5 book, which I really like. I think this is the direction I want to go in with my own games that I'm publishing in the future. I think A5 is really nice. You don't need to have a massive book. And I think if you're going to have it on the table with you and then taking it out as you go out to play games with your friends, having the smaller book is really handy. But back to Eld4 Chronicles. It's quite rules heavy, this game. So there's quite a bit to read through. So you're definitely going to want to play a few trial games to get used to it. The good thing is the cards hold a lot of information, so you shouldn't have to be going back and forth to the book, which is something I like a lot. And then you've got the tables and things that you will need to use in there as well. And then you've got all your scenarios and missions to play. Some nice use of artwork throughout. You've got nice top-down guides to have a look at and diagrams. So that's going to be really helpful when you're learning the game. Now let's start having a look at the models. So this is one of the large models that comes in the set. And I'm not going to build them in this video. There's 17 of them and they're such good quality. I don't want to rush this, so I'm going to do another video so you can see them all assembled. But I will give you a close up of some of the components. So I'll try and put this together without gluing it later on. But look how crisp that is. That's come out so nice. And these models are fantastic. The whole artwork has really come through in the 3D design as well. And that one's a little bit bent, but you can easily just soften it in some warm water, straighten it out, put it into cold, and then you're good to go. And here I've done my best to give you an idea of how it looks when it's put together. But you're also going to get these four box sets that will each contain four models. Let's start with Empire of Soga. So here are the models that are going to be included in this. Really dynamic poses, really cool to see. There's some great touches like that massive hair at the back of one of them, which is brilliant. You're going to get the four cards for each of the models, or one card each. You'll get four in total in each box. And here you can see that artwork really coming through nicely again. I think it's just great. I really like what they've done here. It's so different to anything that I've unboxed before and I just really like the artwork and there's a lot to read through again but get that information is all going to be on the cards there and then once you know the four models you're going to be playing with you're going to get used to their rules really quickly. I'll get the models out so you can see them. Each one's going to come in one of their own little baggies and then you can just get all that out and then you've got all the components. It's pretty obvious how they go together as well. Here's a piece up close so you can have a real good look at the details. Again so crisp 
and the faces especially done really nicely the hair texture is brilliant and so these would be really nice to paint and I'll be bringing you some pictures of that very soon and then here you can see the big hair piece that will be attached to the back as well Next up we've got the Sand Kingdoms, and I won't open up all the models and get them out. It's going to be better when you see them built, but you can see on the back here exactly what you're going to get in each box. And again, they're going to come with those four profile cards, one for each model. Here's their cards, and you can see each faction is also themed as well. So this has got the blue kind of teal colour running through it. Really well done again. And then each one's going to come with different skills. The factions are going to bring different abilities to the game, as you would expect. Then we've got Coalition of Thenion. I'll get some of these out so you can have a close-up look at Nightshade because that's just a fantastic model. The details have come through so well on it. And let's have a look at the cards. These are going to be all in the purple theme. And there we are. That artwork's a great example of what to expect. And this really sets the scene for the game. I would definitely be moving towards playing this faction out of the ones that I've seen in this box. I think they look awesome. But they've got some other models to look at in future unboxings that might sway me. We'll have to wait and see. But here's a close-up look at that miniature. Again, really nice, crisp, come out really well. And then you can see a little bit there that we just need to do a little bit of trimming up on. But otherwise, you're not seeing an awful lot as far as any mould lines or anything like that go. And you've got some really great details on all the pieces. Here's a close-up look at the face as well. We'll get that to focus so you can see how nicely that's done. And I think as a painting project, it would be fun as well. Even if you didn't play the game, I think these would be beautiful models to paint up. Here are the wings. I love the texture on these and also on the little chain that's going around there. I think that's really good as well. All the knots and everything, all the twists are really coming out. But it's the texture on the wings that I think stand out the most. And finally, we've got the Hellion League. Again, four models in here. Here we go. We can have a close-up look. So these look like proper warriors. They're not going to be messing about at all. This faction's coming with this gold and white theme as well. Kind of makes them come across a bit more heroic than the others even. So I think these could be kind of your like good guys almost. That's the vibe I get from the artwork at least. But there we go. That's everything that comes in the box, and here it all is laid out on the table. For such a small box, it's a huge amount of stuff. I love it when you do that, when you can get all the things out, build up the terrain, and have a game right out of the box with everything you need to play. So much depth to this, as you saw from the rules. There's a lot to go through, and I think this could be a real fun project to get stuck into from a painting perspective and a playing one as well. This game originally came out with their first Kickstarter, but now you can buy it straight from their shop. And I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to check that out as well. You can also pick up all the extra models, uh, which I'll be unboxing later on in about a week or so. You'll see a bit more of this game too. If you'd like to check out the Eldfall Chronicles Northern Wind, which is an RPG dungeon crawler style game, but you can also use it alongside this as a skirmish game as well, then I'll put a link down below to their Kickstart. We can go and check it out. It's got about a day or more left on it. They've done so well, reached over £200,000, which is an awesome achievement. And yeah, well worth checking out. Lots of perks have been unlocked too. But that's it from me for now. I hope you liked this unboxing video and let me know what you think about the game in the comments down below. It'd be awesome to hear your thoughts. But if you did like it, it'd be great if you hit the like button. Subscribe as well for more videos like this one. And I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.